Guys, are there some records in mixed martial arts that just aren't going to be beat? Now, only time is going to tell the answer to that question, but there's some that we would predict. And I don't mean silly ones like he was the first. Okay, great. You, you can never be the first again. Uh, Hoist Gracie, by example. I can't imagine anybody in the UFC is ever going to win three tournaments because they stopped doing tournaments. So to exclude those and to talk about ones that we see that are still mentioned, say, in Common Talk, on a dot com you might click on, in a magazine, on the broadcast, by example. There are three that I would be very surprised if I am ever around to see beaten. First off is most wins. Now, most wins is currently held by Cowboy Cerrone. That's 23 fights. So you got to understand, an athlete gets offered three fights a year. So first, you're going to have to make it into the organization. Then you're going to have to accept all three of those fights you're offered. Oh, and by the way, win them for eight straight years just to have the opportunity to beat Cowboy, just to have that opportunity. Now, Jim Miller is only one or two fights behind him. Jim Miller is still an active fighter. So can Jim Miller even tie him when you know that Cowboy is still active? I mean, if they just keep plugging away, Cowboy stays ahead. You take Jim Miller out, it's going to take somebody eight years winning every single thing that's ever offered to them just to get a tie. Fastest knockout currently held by the BMF champion. That's another tough one. I mean, just think about that's five seconds. Could you get across the cage and get to a target in five seconds, let alone knock him out? And don't forget, knockout time means you landed that you got to him, you landed the shot, he went down, the referee took notice of what happened, takes a beat for the referee to step in, wave it off, and the timekeeper to stop the clock. All of that has to happen in five seconds. And ultimately, turnaround time, which right now goes to Khabib 2.0. Turnaround time of 10 days. I mean, are we going to see anything like that? I'm all for it. I only have one resentment to this entire sport. I love the sport. I hated that we only got to fight three times a year. I hated that. I wanted to go every single weekend. Couldn't figure out why they, they wouldn't let us fight more often. Well, he got to basically do that. 10 days apart. Now they're going to bring him in in less than a month of which we've already knocked down five of those days. Within 25 days, he'll be in there, hopefully against Mark Madsen. We'll see how that all plays out. But could you imagine a scenario where somebody fights again in less than 10 days? They don't get all 10 days. That would tie the record. Could be less than 10 days. Very tricky to beat. I mean, for most purposes, we don't even have shows that often. We're in a very strange time right now where we got one, two, three shows in 11 days. You generally don't even have an opportunity to do that. By the way, this was also a different scenario because they were in a set location. Generally, that octagon is mobile. That thing's moving around. You can't even get to point A to point B in enough time. So there's a lot of things that factored into this, which is why I'm also going to suggest for you, I don't know that I'll be around to see anyone win more fights than Donald Cerrone, have a faster knockout than George Masvidal, or get as quick of a turnaround time as Khabib 2.0.